I love the views of the Turkish countryside here as well. I think they might be vineyards, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They grow wine here. They grow wine? Oh. <laughs> There's loads of morning guys it is bright and early here in Izmir and today we're going to head to a very famous ancient site here called Ephesus uh, if you're anything like us and you don't like tour guides and you also like to budget your way through traveling we are going to semi show you how you can take the Isbon or the metro train from Izmir all the way to Ephesus I think it takes a long time so you have to be patient I guess we're just uh, leaving here from Karshiaka which is kind of a further away area from Izmir so it'll be even longer for us we are gonna go to the Isbon right now hop on the train see how it goes let's go bit of movie magic we're able to make this trip look like it's very quick but it does actually take a long time so you have to get on the train to head towards Tepecue you might have to change a couple times this is actually the second time that we're changing trains we're here in the train station right now waiting for our next train that will go to Selchuk we're really budgeting this one but it does take a lot of time but when we do get to Selchuk I don't know we might have to go for some food because I'm starving right now it might be a little bit later when we get to Ephesus and it might be a little bit hotter so we'll see what happens today Okay, we finally made it here to Selchuk, to the town, but we haven't quite made it to Ephesus yet. The train actually is very worth it. It takes a long time, like I mentioned, but it's only 25 Turkish lira, which is roughly $1.50 or something like that. Yeah, it's pretty cheap, and it took like two hours maybe. It does take a long time, like we mentioned, but it definitely is worth it. Actually, Selchuk itself looks really cool. There's a little bit of a castle, and there's like some ruins of an old uh, aqueduct behind us here as well. Very beautiful. gonna make our way to Ephesus here in a minute but let's get some food first. So we got ourselves some kind of boyos. I'm not actually too sure what these are. I think they're boyos but we're gonna snack on these, walk around the town, figure out how to get to Ephesus. Maybe bus or walking. Maybe bus but maybe walking if you want to. <laughs> So we just took the bus which is the Dolmuş in Turkey and it only cost 15 lira. We decided we did it in Alicata, it wasn't so difficult, we wanted to do it here as well. It's very cheap, very convenient, it doesn't take so long. Okay, we made it in. The tickets are about 200 Turkish lira. We opted for no audio guide because, I don't know, we're just not into that type of stuff, yeah, so. <laughs> we like to read the stuff ourselves. I'm sure it's really cool, but we're not those people, are we? We definitely don't like the audio guides. Yeah, let's go see what this place is all about. So even without the audiobooks, I was able to learn that this little section right behind us that we came up actually used to be a port. Whoever was living here at that time, they actually constructed a artificial port and the water came all the way into Ephesus, which is pretty cool. Guys, this place is so cool. Check that out. I don't know if I'm getting old or if I'm just being reminiscent, but I really love these kinds of places. These are becoming my favorite places to visit these days because it reminds me of when I was younger and I used to explore these types of places with my family in Greece. And also it brings me back a few months ago to when we went to Tikal, which was just such a spectacular place to visit. But the only downside is this place is much, much busier than Tikal. Yeah, it's still so beautiful. I love this type of stuff. I know we're a little bit hypocritical for pointing this out as we literally make videos on YouTube, but it's kind of a funny thing when you come into these types of famous places and you see people just so focused on their phones and on the shots they're getting. And Literally like 10 years ago, it was nothing like this. Yeah, nothing like this. The world has changed. It's, everybody needs to get their content. It's kind of sad. Speaking of which, follow us on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really sure what this is or even how authentic this is, but there seems to be some kind of a footprint here. Maybe this is the footprint of someone who used to live here thousands of years ago. I have no idea. Just behind. 
behind me here is the Library of Celsus. And I was just reading online that it was actually the third largest library in the world at that time, or maybe just for the Roman libraries, I'm not too sure, but it's very impressive looking. And I think it's actually one of the most famous sites here in Ephesus. When you get up closer to the library, you can actually see how impressive this architecture is. It's amazing. Um, I just read that some of it was destroyed by an earthquake, but yeah, it's extremely beautiful. As you guys could see over there at the library how busy it was. Don't know if I would recommend traveling to these kind of places in peak season because it is so busy. It's really hard to soak in those places like that when there are just so many people walking around, but it's a very fascinating place. Probably one of the coolest sites I've seen. Looks like I found one of the best views of this entire place and there's nobody here. I've got the whole place to myself, this whole platform. No one's come up here and look at that. That's very, very cool. Also, I keep finding all these little holes, maybe vents in the ground. And I'm wondering if there's actually more underneath this because this, even this part here, looks a little bit like a pillar. So I'm wondering if there's more stuff underground here as well. They're just dark holes in the ground leading into nothing. What's down there? I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks like there is some cool stuff down there. The curious person inside of me really wants to go down there and see what it is, but I definitely can't fix it. Kind of cool to see that they are literally excavating as we are walking around the site which kind of further proves my point that there must be more stuff underneath and those holes must lead to something i guess there's probably lots of places around the world like this but in guatemala they were also excavating loads of places that we couldn't see yet but maybe in 10 or 20 years we'll see much more of the history from thousands of years ago So that was a model of the ancient city of Ephesus behind me. And uh, you could see where the port would have been. And I don't know if this is 100% true, but it suggests that behind me on these mountains here, that there would have been a fortress or a wall that went around the entire mountain, probably to protect the city here from invasion or anything like that. But it would be really cool to go up on top of that mountain to be able to get some views of Ephesus. We found another amphitheater here and I guess this is the one where they used to hold their council meetings and they had some small musical performances and this one might be my favorite actually. And it has a really beautiful view on this side as well. I think I've said that a lot today, but it is really cool. Looks like I also found an ancient Coca-Cola bottle in an ancient archeological site. Did you know that the Romans used to like Coca-Cola? Really? It was around back then. What do you have right now? <laughs> So there's actually one other place here that we didn't buy a ticket to go to, but just behind me is a place called Terrace House. I'm not really sure what's in there. I'm assuming it's like a museum of all the stuff that was found around here in Ephesus, but we will not be checking that out today. So I'm glad we came by here earlier because that's getting a little bit crazy. But what do you think? Does Ephesus live up to the hype? Yeah, it's definitely worth visiting here. It's really impressive without sounding super negative. <laughs> it is height peak season right now. It's the height of summer. So if you are going to come here, maybe come here in the morning. If you're going to come here in now, like in the afternoon, it's going to be really busy and it kind of takes away the, the atmosphere. It kind of takes away the atmosphere of it, but it is really cool. So 
And I think I said earlier in the video, I'd recommend coming here in like October or maybe May, but August, it's a bit crazy here. So we've officially left Ephesus now and we're back in Selchuk and we've got ourselves some um, jajuk. I think it's jajuk, yogurt and cucumber and some different vegetables in there. It's very delicious. And uh, we're just debating right now if we want to go up to the castle as well. Lauren's got a little bit of a case of heat stroke right now, maybe. I guess you guys will find out in about a minute if we go to the castle or not. <laughs> All right, we've had a small dinner. Lauren's feeling a little bit better. We've got a little bit more energy. We're gonna go see if we can get into the castle, but I just looked online, I think it closed is in about 10 minutes, so I don't think we'll go in, but let's get a close look at it at least. All right, for the first time ever on the channel, we are in luck. It is not closed. We only have only 30 minutes though, so we don't have much time to explore this, but we're gonna go check it out. It's situated on top of this hill here. Beautiful view here of Selchuk. Can't see the sea, unfortunately, but it's pretty good. And there's no people here, so it's much more peaceful than Ephesus was. to the castle now and it's 5 p.m. and we are literally the only people here. Well, not literally the only people. There's one, two, yeah. three. The that's it. It's <laughs> it feels, too many people. It feels like we're traveling again 10 years ago. I love the views of the Turkish countryside here as well. Yeah, those views are amazing. I think they might be vineyards, to be honest. Mm -hmm. They grow wine here. They grow wine? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this place probably isn't better than Ephesus. <laughs> we don't want to try and say that it is, but uh, if you guys have watched our channel long enough, you know that we are a sucker for good views. And I don't think it gets better than that. No, you get a whole 360 view, which is amazing. Our favorite. I think that is it for our video here today. We hope you guys enjoyed us visiting. In closing, Ephesus is definitely worth visiting and very easy and cheap to visit by taking the Isbon or without using a tour guide. So we recommend doing it on your own. Don't worry so much about coming here with a tour. It's very easy. And uh, yeah, make sure you check out Selchuk. It's a really cute little town. There's loads of restaurants there. And also check out this castle. It's incredibly cool. Like we said, there's not many tourists here and it's beautiful. The views here are stunning. Yeah, the perfect end to today and especially a perfect end for us because we are usually very unlucky. So we are celebrating the small victories today. Yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave us a comment below if you've been to Ephesus or if you have been to any place like Ephesus and maybe some recommendations as well for us here in Turkey. Yeah, we'll see you guys next time.